name is Rachel. I am the owner and founder of The Eclectic Witch Box. Um, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, it is good to see you guys again. So for today's video, um, I am doing a unboxing for our June box. So I am actually super, super excited and proud of this box. Um, we put a lot of hard work and effort into it. And I really hope that you guys have enjoyed it or you know, enjoy this video. So if you guys, like I said, if you're new here, um, my name is Rachel. I do own the Eclectic Witch Box. So basically what that is, it is a monthly mystery subscription box that I mail out once a month. Um, there's a theme to each box, but it is completely a mystery. You don't know what it is until you get it. You don't know what the theme is going to be. And it is $30 if that sounds like something you would be interested in, or if you're, you know, interested after this video, check us out on Create Joy. That is where I sell the, bo the box. Also, I do offer the box, um, well, it's kind of a link to Create Joy, but you can check us out on the eclecticwitchbox.com. That is our website, and I try to update information on there as I can. Um, I have been pretty busy, so it's not completely updated right now, but um, Instagram is where I am on top of updating you guys on stuff. So definitely check us out on Instagram at the Eclectic Witch Box. Instagram. <laughs> okay, so let's get into the box. So when you get the box every month, this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. I say that every time. Um, I also say every time, you know, this is my favorite box. But actually, this so far has been my favorite box. Um, I just feel like they've been getting better and better. Not to toot my own horn, but um, as I'm doing these boxes, I'm learning so much more about, you know, the business, witchcraft, my own craft, myself personally. And it's just been a great journey. So I'm happy that you guys have been on it with me. But let's go ahead and get in the box. So yeah, like I said, this is what it looks like when you get it. Let's open it. And then when you open it, it looks like this. Um, so it has my little handles, my uh, Instagram or my YouTube, Instagram, and um, you know, it tells you where you can leave a review or if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can reach out to me via Create Joy. So whenever we open it up, there's, I've got two this month. So one is the spoiler and then one is a little bit more information on what this month's box is about. So I'll get to those in a minute. Um, so after you pull that out, it's sealed like this. So pretty. Go ahead, open it. And get all this crinkle paper out of the way. Okay, so right off the bat, we've got a sticker, my sticker. I'm sure you guys are sick of getting these, but yeah, that is my logo for the Eclectic Witch Box, as you saw in the front of the box. Um, and then, oh, there's so much exciting stuff in here. I don't even know where to start. Okay, so we'll start with... Livy. So as you guys know, and almost all of my bo like past boxes, I've been partnering, partnering, I've been partnering with the Weird Ghoul Shop. Um, so this month was no different. Um, actually, me and her were super excited to put this month's box out. I know this is something she has been super, super excited about. So I'm happy that it's finally come, and you know, you guys are gonna enjoy them. So it is the theme is. Let me just get to that. The theme is Hecate. Um, so. Uh, the Weird Ghoul Shop, she actually um, works with Hecate. I actually have never really worked with her, so this was a time for me to learn more about her origin and, you know, kind of just like expand my knowledge on this goddess. And it's been, it's been very interesting and fun. Um, and I know Livy was just super excited to get these products out and actually make something that kind of dedicates to this goddess. So she made a Hecate um, herb blend. So, you know, like last month, it comes in this beautiful packaging and it says, um, herbal blend to call on Hecate, skull cap and wh whorehound, whorehound. I think that's how you say it. I'm, I'm not sure, but whorehound. So yeah, so that's what's in here and you could use this for spell work. When I read the paper, it'll all also kind of explain on how you can use it. Um, and then she also made this amazing freaking oil. Oh my gosh. So she really outdid herself this month. Um, and that's what it looks like. Look at the beautiful brass key on there. 
she just really went above and beyond. You can tell this is something she's really passionate about. So I love that. So it says this oil is handcrafted to aid in calling upon Hecate. It can be used as an offering to her, wear as a perfume or in your hair for protection and can be used in spell work. So you can definitely use the herbs and the oil, however you see fit. Um, these are just suggestions. They're always suggestions. But yeah, that's the oil blend that she came up with. It was made with love and it's packaged so beautifully. She did a really great job. Um, and then she also made, as kind of a little bonus for you guys, these beautiful brass key necklaces. I'm not sure if they're all brass. I think they are, but in this specific box, it is brass. So you basically can take this oil and anoint this, um, this key necklace and basically wear it with you everywhere. And anytime you feel like you need, you can call upon her or if you just like the comfort of, you know, having a little piece of her with you, this is perfect for you guys. So, and it's beautiful, well-made. Um, yeah. And it goes hand in hand with the herbs and the oil. So it's just kind of like a little packet. Like it's really cool. She, I'm going to keep saying she did an amazing job because I love it. And now let's get into the other stuff. So it also comes with this handmade necklace by me. It is blue tur well, blue turquoise. It's turquoise with a triple moon goddess symbol on it. So for those of you who don't know, this is a very common um, symbol associated with Hecate, the mother, the maiden, and the crone. Um, so yeah, I'm very proud of these. They're so beautiful. And they're memory um, wire, so they will hold their shape. Like, yeah. You don't have to worry about them. They shouldn't break. They're very strong. So um, if you're hard on jewelry like I am, you should be good. Um, and then this beautiful bone pen. So if you're not really familiar with Hecate, I wasn't. This was a huge learning experience for me. One that was super rewarding because I feel like, you know, I've learned so much about her. But basically, um, some people call her the goddess of, like, she's basically the goddess of witches. Um, but, like, some people say that she's the goddess of death and, like, you know, the circle of life, um, which I'll kind of get into more in a minute. And then, so this is the last thing I'm super excited to show you guys about. So, it is a Hecate, the mother of the maiden and the crone, candlestick holder that I made myself. So these were all handmade um, and it is made out of resin. So disclosure, um, I actually, you know, made one of these for my friend and she was not paying attention to the candle that was on it. Resin is flammable. So you have to be very careful with this, which first off, you should never leave your candles unattended. Um, you should never burn a candle for longer than four hours. And you always need to make sure you're trimming your wick. Keep an eye on it. It needs to be in an open area away from anything. And you don't ever want it to get down to the candlestick. This is, it's, it's beautiful and it's, it's, you know, it's fully functional candlestick holder, but you want to make sure that you're responsible. Um, so yes, it is beautifully detailed. Um, like I said, it is handmade, so they're not perfect. Um, I was really excited to get these out for you guys. Um, so they come in different colors. So this one's actually more of a golden bronze. Um, some of them are, um, closer to the gold side there's black there's gray silver um so you guys could get any one of those um or this one that's what just came in this box so yeah um that is what came in this month's box i am so proud of it i think it turned out amazing i feel like it really kind of embodied um hikate a lot um and there was a lot of love put into this box so i'm gonna go ahead and read not the what's inside thing, but I did put in some information about Hikate, just some like basic facts, nothing too crazy. Um, if you're interested in learning more, the internet has a wide variety of information. I know there's a lot of stuff on YouTube. Um, for me to kind of dive more into this goddess, I um, downloaded a few audiobooks. Um, I think the one that I listened to is Hikate, um, Keeper of the Keys. I think that's what it was called. Um, and then Hikate, Goddess of Witches. I'm pretty sure were the two that I listened to. I can't remember the exact names. Um, but so I kind of included just some basic information for you guys to kind of, you know, go off of. Um, and I know that not a lot of people do work with Hikate. Um, so, you know, we are the Eclectic Witch Box. So that means one month you may not get something that kind of speaks to you. I try to like do a wide variety of different things each month um, just to kind of expand knowledge for people who may not have even heard of Hikate or 
you know, something that has been in a previous box that you may not have even considered and may not have piqued your interest, or this just may not be for you at all and it just wasn't your month. I do apologize, but I just kind of try and mix things up as much as possible because um, witchcraft is so broad and there's so much to cover and, you know, I try to do my best with that. Um, so let me stop rambling and kind of just read. So it says, Goddess Sikate, I'll kind of, let me show you so you can... Okay, so if you want to pause and read that. Um, so origin, she's actually or originates from Greek mythology. Um, signs and symbols are keys, rope, a dagger, torches, dogs, the dark moon, a wheel, and the crossroads. Um, so other names that she has been called and can go by is the protector of witches, so the goddess of witches, keeper of keys, mistress of the night, goddess of the crossroads, and the triple moon goddess, which I kind of was talking about earlier. So some offerings that you can offer her. I did know we talked about that herbs and the oil can be used for offerings. Um, I feel like she's not very picky. She's There's a wide range of stuff that you can offer her. So here's a few. So offerings could be almonds, <clears throat> almonds, garlic, incense, wine, yes, grapes, cakes, and flowers. So yeah, there's a wide variety of stuff that you could offer her. And then I kind of just included, I, I'm not sure if it's a spell or a poem, but what are spells if not poems? You can use it for whatever, but I thought it was beautiful, so I'll go ahead and read it. Um, I'm not like a poet, so it might sound a little robotic, but it says, Hecate on the dark moon, on the, Hecate on dark moon night, the owls take flight, crossroads are best to begin your quest. By candle flame, we chant her name, with incense smoke, Hecate evoke. Her howling black dog and her sacred frog with knife and cords and magic, magic words. That doesn't really rhyme, but. With knife and cords and magic words. Her, her snakes, her snake shed skin and end to, be, to end and begin. Her snake shed skin to end and begin. She holds the key to unlock mystery. With Willow and you, magic comes through. She takes us down to the underground. Cover and rest, we do, did we do best. C recover and rest, did we do best. Her cauldron bubbles, she soothes our troubles. With cords and blade, our memories will fade. She brings us back in her magic sack. And this was by Rowan Morgana in 2011. So I kind of, I made sure I paid, um, you know, respect to the writer for that. Um, I thought that was beautiful and very interesting. I feel like it tells a tale of kind of what she's about. Um, but yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. So I wanted to include that with you, with the, you know, information kit and you can use it as a spell to kind of, you know, use these oils and these incense, you know, or, you know, if you want to write your own spells devoted to her with this bone pen, I'm sure she would be totally happy with that. And you've got a little candlestick holder to like, do the whole shebang like it's like a whole little kit you know while you wear your bracelet all right now let's get to the what's inside it's kind of smaller font i had a lot to put on here so if you can't if you need to pause it pause it um i apologize if you're unable to read it but i'm gonna read it out loud for you guys too so this is a handmade resin candle holder made by the eclectic witch box that's me since these candle holders are handmade, they're, they may show some signs of imperfection, but they were each made with love. Disclaimer, resin can be flammable even when completely hardened. Always be sure to use your candle holders and candle in a, candles in a safe place that is that can be monitored at all times. This is recommended to never burn the candle longer than four hours at a time. Please use all products responsibly and with caution. So that goes for everything in the box, always you know, use things responsibly and take care of yourself. Um, so the Hecate herb blend, this herb pack blend, it, this herb pack is blended to give to Hecate as an offering, burn as loose incense, use in spell work to call on Hecate for guidance and or to help you during spell work. Please these, you, please use these herbs how you, however you see fit. The Hecate oil, this oil can be used as an offering to Hecate or used in spell work for her. This oil can also be used in your hair or beard as a veiling technique for protection. Um, and then the Hecate key necklace. Um, 
So this necklace can be used with the Hikate Ritual Oil, also included in the box. You can use this oil to anoint the necklace and do spells dedicated to Hikate. Burn the loose Hikate herbs during your spell work to ask Hikate to provide protection and comfort to this pendant. Wear this necklace and have a little Hikate with you every day. The Bone Pen. So Hikate is known to be the goddess of witches. She is also said to be connected with the dead. There are many symbols that are associated with Hikate. Here are some of the following symbols commonly associated with her. Keys, dogs, the moon, witches, the dead, the mother, the maiden, the crone, and a burning torch. As a symbol of Hikate's connection with the dead, I have included this bone-shaped pen. The Triple Moon Goddess Charm Bracelet, handmade turquoise bracelet made by the Eclectic Witch Box with a silver Triple Moon Goddess Charm. This symbol is the symbol for Hikate. The symbol stands for the Mother, the Maid, and the Crone. These three figures represent the separate stages of the female life cycle and also the phases of the moon. Thank you for your support, the Eclectic Witch Box team. So I try to include quite a bit of information about her to you guys if you're new. If you're not, I'm sure you've heard this stuff a million times and used this kind of stuff as a daily practice. Um, but I hope a lot of the stuff is new to you. I mean, everything pretty much in this box is handmade by either Livy or myself, by the Weird Ghoul Shop or myself. Um, so there's a lot of love and energy put into this box and I really hope that you guys appreciate it. Um, and yeah, if you have uh, any comments or concerns, you can always reach out to me at the eclectic witch box at gmail.com you can reach out to me on crate joy on instagram that's primarily what, where i'm at on instagram um i pr i respond pretty quickly um on there so yeah if you have any questions feel free to either comment below or reach out to me on any of those platforms also speaking of comment below if you haven't already go ahead and hit like and subscribe that way you can kind of stay up to date with all of the other unboxings and see all the other goodies that we offer every month um, I think I, I did mention in the last um, video that I am going to be at the Oklahoma City Pagan Festival um, on September 24th. I'll be there all day. I'll have a booth and a tent. Um, so yeah, if you're in the area, please stop by, say hi, and check out some of the products that we are offering that are exclusive to the festival. And also just kind of some of the past stuff in the boxes that maybe you've seen that you've loved. Um, they might potentially be there. So you just stop by and see. But um, let me kind of show, hold up everything real quick to show you what's in the box. I always forget to do this. So, so we had the Triple Moon Goddess oh. Resin Candle Holder, the amazing um, Weird Ghoul Shop uh, Hecate Oil, and then the necklace from Hecate, uh, not Hecate, from the Weird Ghoul Shop. It's a Hecate key necklace with the herb blends. And then my lovely... <laughs> turquoise necklace and the bone pen and sticker so yeah let me hold that up for you guys to see everything so yeah well I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you ah! so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video um and I look forward to seeing you guys you know on my subscriber list um and yeah other than that, I hope you guys have a great summer. Peace.